Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com here. Uh, today we're going to show you how to downgrade your HSC Hero so it can be rooted. Uh, go to our site if you're not already there, TheUnlocker.com, spell like that, and then search for the how to downgrade your HSC Hero. Okay, once you come to the procedure, there are a few disclaimers. Please read each one very carefully before you begin. Um, after that, and you've read all that and you understand it, then we can go on to the actual procedure. Okay, then the first step we're going to do, section one. Uh, we're going to download and install the Android SDK and the USB drivers if we haven't already done it. If you've already done it, just skip this section and go straight on to section two. If you haven't done it, uh, then you'll see step one just tells you how to go to our uh, other video. Uh, we did a whole video dedicated to just setting up ADB and USB drivers, so follow that procedure first. Once you've confirmed that that works, come back here and start section two. Okay, so on the Hero itself, we're going to hit Menu, Settings. We're going to go to Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked. It needs to be on, okay? Then we can go back, back, SD card and phone storage. Uh, click Unmount SD card, then Format SD card. Format, erase everything, and then let it format. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to plug our Hero into the USB cable, into our computer. Okay, the next step is we gotta open the command prompt on our computer. So we're gonna go to the start menu and just type in CMD and hit enter. Okay, once the command prompt opens up, we're gonna do CD backslash to get out of there. CD Android SDK slash tools. Uh, and that'll get us inside the tools folder. Now, if you didn't follow our step to uh, download and install the SDK, then yours might not be called Android SDK, it might be called something else. So type in whatever the folder name is for your SDK and wherever you put it, then tools, and then so on. Or go back and do our process, it doesn't take very long, and then you can uh, follow the steps as written here. Okay, so now we've done that, we're gonna go ADB, devices. And you should have a serial number show up, which means that your device is connected properly, so that's good. Then we're gonna type ADB shell, and give it a second. Okay, now when you see the dollar sign come up, now you can type cat space slash sys slash class slash mmc underscore host mmc1 mmc1 star slash cid. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, and now that number that pops up, that's the CID of your memory card. So we're going to write that number down. Uh, not mine, yours, it's gonna be different. Um, but write that down and double check it, triple check it, make sure that it's written exactly as it is there. Okay? Okay, now once you have that code written down, you're gonna go back to our site and you're gonna look at uh, step six here. Uh, go to this page to download the QMAT. So we're gonna click open. Okay, and you're gonna download the top one, QMAT 4.4.6. Okay, download. Okay, once you've downloaded it, you're gonna unzip it, and then click on QMAT. It's gonna tell you that this version only runs for 10 minutes, so let's be kind of quick. Uh, crypto analysis tools, crypto toolbox. And you'll see down here at the bottom, says reverse string. We're going to take our code, put it into there, and then hit reverse string. And now it's going to give our code back reversed. We're going to highlight that. I'm going to copy that and write it down. Forward and backward now. And then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, now once you have that written down, you're going to go back to our site and you're going to go to this site, the gold card site, okay? Um, and then it's gonna ask you for your email address. Put the right email address in because it's gotta email your, uh, your gold card image. Um, but also it's gonna ask you for the CID, which is what we wrote down. The reversed one, not the forward one. Um, make sure also that you replace the first two digits, which is nine eight for me, with zero zero. 
Okay, make sure that you do that. And then copy that string and put it into the section on the site uh, and click submit. And you'll get emailed your, uh, your image. Okay, once you get your gold card image uh, via email, it actually shouldn't take that long. It takes maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, then do step 11. We're gonna download the hex editor. So if you click on that, it's gonna bring you to CNET download. Uh, download the hex editor. And then uh, once it's done downloading, you're gonna unzip it. And we'll go from that. Okay, once you're done there, you're gonna unplug the hero. And turn it off. Okay, then once it's off, we're gonna take off the back, take out the memory card, and we're gonna put it in the SD adapter that it came with. Uh, if you don't have this, you should get one, uh, just for other procedures, not just this one. We're going to put this in here, make sure that this is unlocked. Uh, and then if your computer has a slot for this, you're going to put this into that slot and it should pop up on your computer. If it doesn't have this slot, you can also invest in something like this. Uh, this is a USB adapter for the SD adapter. So you put this in here and then plug this into your computer. So either way is fine. Uh, if you have this slot on your computer and you plug this in directly, that's the best way. But if you don't have that slot, then you can go get one of these. They're, this whole set here probably costs less than five bucks. So. Okay, once we put the memory card in and we've installed the hex editor, we're actually gonna find it in our program files. We're gonna right click and click run as administrator if you're using uh, Vista or higher. Okay. Now that it's open, we're going to click on Extras, Open Disk. It's going to ask us to choose. Under Physical Disk, we're going to choose the Removable Disk. That's going to be our SD card. Uh, and then at the bottom, at the bottom, we're going to make sure to uncheck Open as Read Only, okay? And then click, yeah, if that's open, we're going to click on the Extras tab again. We're going to click uh, Open Disk Image. And we're going to find the gold card image that we downloaded. Okay, and we're going to click open. It's going to say specify the sector size. Just click OK. And now that we should have both the gold card.img open here and the removal disk here. Okay. Okay, with the gold card.img tab selected, we're going to click edit. Select all, then edit again, and hit copy. Okay, and after we hit copy, we're gonna click on the removable disk tab, and we are going to select uh, from 170, at the very end here, all the way up to the top. Okay, so you can see it's the same, like 170. Okay, 170, but all the way to the end. You start here and you highlight backwards, usually works best. Uh, and then we're going to click the Edit tab and hit Paste Right. Now that's done, you're gonna hit File, Save. Yep. All right, and now we can close the hex editor. Okay, now we're gonna test what we've done. Uh, once we've saved and closed the hex editor, we're gonna take out the memory card, and we're gonna put it back in, and it should prompt us to open it. And there it is, so click on open. As long as you can open this and you get to this blank screen, you're all set, you've made your gold card. Okay, now that we've created the gold card, we're going to download and install HTC Sync to our computer if we don't already have it. If you do already have it, just skip that. Uh, otherwise, click on the link there to download it and install it to your computer. Okay, now that HTC Sync is installed, we're going to plug in our Hero USB cable. And we're going to pull down this menu, click on HTC Sync, and let it connect to Sync. 
Okay, once the phone is plugged in and connected to HTC Sync, and it says connected on both the phone and your computer, uh, you're going to go to our site again and download the original HTC Hero RUU from that link there. Okay, once you've downloaded it to your computer, you're going to find it and you're going to double click it and just run through its process. Once it's done, you should be all set. Then you can go on to the how to root the hero in one click procedure.